Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Place Snowtopia. This is a uh, game I found um, bouncing around on uh, YouTube earlier, uh, which is basically it's, it's it's a sort of ski resort tycoon type game. So we have roller coaster tycoon, um, goodness knows what else tycoon. This this one is where you go in, you design your own ski resort, you put in lifts and runs and things and so on, and um, and build it up and try and make well in theory you try and make money. Um, it's actually with this being a, a very very early alpha. Um, it it doesn't actually support any sort of levels of economy yet. So the only the only resource I've discovered in this game is the is the number of workers you've got to actually um, run the lifts in your in your uh, in your resort. So there's no messing around with trying to stick up some uh, van show stands to try and um, earn a bit of extra money or any, any of that sort of business. Uh, that said, I've had a bit of a poke at it so far, and I've, and yeah, it, it's actually quite entertaining to play. As anyone who knows me at all will know, I'm um, a little bit obsessed with skiing, so. Having a game that allows me to build up my own ski resort does rather appeal to me, and it's it's a, it's it's actually quite a pretty game. It gives you a nice um, idea of um, the idea of the mountain. You can build up you can build up runs. It gives I, I quite like the system for uh, for building um, the runs actually. I'll uh, I'll show you that in a moment. But first um, first I'm going to need a um, a, ca a cable car taking to take people up the up the slope. So let's put one of those. Actually, let's put it in over here. And then have some nice easy beginner slopes over on this uh, over there on this part of the mountain. So it's nice and easy to drop that in because there's no, as I said, there's no money in this game at the moment with it being such an early alpha. Um, there's no reason, as far as I can tell, there's no reason to use chair lifts or drag lifts, and so I might as well just put in um, gondolas everywhere. And to be honest, that seems to be how uh, real world ski resorts are going as well. They're um, generally putting in. Uh, gondolas at least at least from the from the um, resort level because otherwise you end up just trying to um uh you, because they've got a much higher throughput basically so you, so you can you can have a lot more people um being sent up the mountain if you use gondolas and if you use chairlifts and people like them more as well because if it's if the weather's bad or if it's just a bit cold and windy then it uh, it protects you to an extent so i quite like the um the system it uses for making the uh, making the pieces, as you can see along here, it's it's color coding the um, each bit of the the piece that I'm I'm trying to lay down to tell me how difficult it is. Uh, so obviously green is the uh, green is easy, blue is medium, red is difficult, and black is very difficult. It's using the European system as uh, as is as it should do. Uh, white is slightly uphill, so we're going to try and avoid that as much as possible. But if you try and make it very uphill, then it complains and just won't let you. So it's um it's snowboard snowboarder friendly, should we say? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've seen any of those in the game yet, but as you can see, we've got the green, the blue, and the red there going on. So we've got the uh, variety, so we can tell at a glance how difficult the um, the piece we're putting in is. Uh, it's the 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 piece laying system is is a little finicky at times. It doesn't seem to quite always go where you want it to. But that said, it it does make some quite nice curves across where, wherever you tell it to go. It yeah it it's. Yeah, I'd say it's generally it's, it's quite nice, but sometimes it has some slightly funny moments, should we say, <laughs> when it tries to do something not, that's not quite what you want. Um, so yeah, let's have this green run loop around the uh, lift there. Yeah, that's quite a nice, a nice, a nice long sweeping green run to get um, get people started. Um, it's just over a kilometre apparently, uh, and that seems like a reasonable reasonable length of run. Okay, so we can now open the lift by sticking a worker in it. And if we unpause this, then hopefully we'll get some uh, little skiers. Yes, here we go. Here's some skiers. And for each of these, we can also we can click on them and find out how their day is going. So this one's a beginner. They're 45% mood because they've just arrived. Um, this tells me they're a beginner again. There's nothing particularly exciting about them. And once they start doing stuff, it'll tell me about what they've been doing. So they've been they're going on gondola gondola 35. Um, it must be because I was messing around with it before. It's just carried on numbering from where I got to before. So um, never mind. Let's give it a better name than Gondola Thirty Five. We'll call it um, I don't know um, Village View because it comes up. It, it rises up out of the uh, out out from the uh, from the resort and carries on upwards. Although that said, this appears to be one of the um, more like an American style resort where you just where you drive up and hop on the, and and get into the. Um, into the uh, directly onto the ski slopes, rather than sort of the European ones where you tend to have loads of hotels and things, almost on the or in some cases actually on the slopes. Okay, so a, a green run is all very well, especially as it seems to be some beginners who've turned up so far. But they're a little dull. Let's put in something a bit more interesting as well. So let's ooh, let's not go quite as far as black just yet. Um, I th I said let's not go as far as black. I think I think a red run is probably acceptable as a sort of a 
at this stage of the um, this stage of the mountain. So let's let's try just going a bit more directly down. Um, okay, I seem to be struggling to get it to go actually red. So um, maybe just join it on here and call it another. Yeah, call that one a blue, and maybe take a shortcut down from down here as well. Okay, there we go. I don't know if people will actually use that, but it's it's a good start. I've got three workers available to me, so that means I can build another... Ah! Okay, the camera in this game is a little bit dodgy, I have to admit. I've been having some... Um, having a few issues with it. <laughs> okay, let's put in another gondola. This one can go up right onto the top of here, I think. And this one's going to be a bit more exciting, I think. So if we have a if we have a run coming down off the top of here, that's gonna yeah that's gonna definitely be a black. So let's bring that down and join it onto this blue over here. Because if if, if someone's skiing down a black, they're not gonna want to go onto a green. Let's bring it straight across there. And I wonder if I bring bring another run down this shoulder here. Maybe I can loop it around. It, it'll be only be a green or a blue or something not too difficult. Let's see what we can manage from here. Yeah, a blue so far. It's going to get a bit steeper as we come... Yeah, I don't want to go black down there. Let's go over this way a bit more. We're going to loop back around here. And try and keep it... I'll try and keep it on the um, <laughs> the red side of black. I don't want to actually... Uh, as I say, I don't want it to go be too difficult. Maybe if I come around... Oh, that's uphill. <laughs> Can't get across there. I need to come down over this way. Without it going black. That's going to be tricky. Oh no, here we go. And then down there like that and join onto here. There. That's a blue. That's not bad at all. But I, and I need to open this gondola as well. There we go. Now, one thing I have noticed about this game that I don't remotely understand is the um, the occupancy percentages that are given for, the, for, for all the lifts. They always seem to be, like, well, in this case, it's 163%. Um, there's basically no queue. I don't, so I don't know what that number means. Another thing that um, I've noticed that I don't like so much is that it doesn't tell you, or rather, it's very hard to tell how many people are using the different things around your around your resort. So, for example, this ski resort, ski run here. Yeah, I can change the difficulty, but it doesn't tell me how many people are on it. It doesn't tell me how many people have used it recently. That would be very useful information just to get an idea of how busy it is and 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 also how popular it is as well. Um, but it doesn't give you that information, which I think is a bit of a shame. Let's see. So I've got 28 people in the resort. Presumably most of them are inside my um, gondolas at the moment, which is why I can't see any of them. But I'm trying to get an idea of what sort of skill level the people in my resort are. I mean, should I be... Oh, there's someone up there. Um, by the time I've pointed the camera at him, I'm going to... He's going to have gone. Oh no, it's not a person, it's a sign saying this is a blue run. Okay, um, take this all back. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Maybe it's because they're all in the lifts and the lifts are moving so slowly. Let's speed that one up a little bit. I'm going to assume for now that they're mostly beginners, or at least they're a significant number of beginners. What's that person? <laughs> They're an expert. Okay, maybe I shouldn't assume that then. I was going to say I'll build some more bunny slopes over here in this nice flat area. Uh, so I could whack a um, a gondola in going up to about here and then maybe a green running, snaking its way down here and another one coming down this way. Let's do that anyway uh, because it seems like a good idea to have some, have plenty of beginner slopes around. Uh, let's go to just above this rock. There we go. And from here, I can have. Okay, I would like this. To... Okay, this isn't isn't going to be a green apparently. Uh, <laughs> if I go from here, no. This, apparently, this is going to be a blue run. Okay, that's not a problem. And it's quite nice if the same sort of area has both blues and greens coming off it. Um. But let's try not to go red. <laughs> oh, there we go. Come, coming back again. That looks a lot more promising.
Yeah, this is going quite well now. And then down here it's getting a bit flatter and easier. Well, <laughs> spoke too soon. Let's go. Yeah, we're going for blue, so blue blue is okay. So, oh, I can't go over that bit. What if I go over the top of here? Is that manageable? Yes, that's more manageable. It's a bit flat at the top of that, but never mind, it's not too bad. And nice sweeping turn back into the bottom here. There we go. Blue run. Nice. Now let's see if I can actually manage to get a green off this off this side, shall we? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I put this in too far. It went up too far with this one. All right. Let's get rid of this. Let's start again. This time. Is there anywhere that's a bit flatter? Not really. Hmm. Maybe getting in some green runs is going to be rather difficult from here. Let's try from about there. Because from here there's lots of room to go t traversing across the uh, the mount side of the mountain. Like... Ooh. Yeah, this is the sort of thing I was talking about where it doesn't quite draw the line where you want it to go. <laughs> and I'm sure I should be able to just continue sort of gently along, yeah, like that. And then, yeah, okay, let's turn back again. Definitely got a mind, a bit of a mind of its own, this um, peace planner. <laughs> oh, this isn't turning out quite as I hoped. It's, um, it's not, not too... Uh, it's a bit of green there. What if I, no, I should have kept that one. <laughs> this is fiddly. And I'm sure this is this is quite a shallow slope, so I feel it should be quite easy to put in a green run down here, but... I am finding it quite fiddly and difficult to get it to do quite what I want. Okay, there we go. There's a green. <laughs> Hopefully people will be happy with that. Let's see if I can get a blue off the other side. A blue should be a bit easier, I reckon. Just try not to go red on it. At least not more than a little bits of red. A bit of green like that's fine. I don't mind a little bit of red on a corner, but let's try and then go a bit more aggressive. There, yeah. There we go. That's yeah, a good pair of um, pair of runs coming off there, I think. Now, so that that gives me a bit of a bit of variety for the different um, different abilities of skiers. And so yeah, both of both of my mountains, both of my uh, main lifts have got a um, I've got a green and a blue coming off them. But that one also goes up and lets lets people get to a black if they want to. Okay, bit of a lack of. Um, people moving around here but then those gondolas are going rather slowly i need to assign more staff to them but i don't have the i don't have the manpower yet at this at this stage of the game so it's just going to have to chug along slowly in fact let's speed this up like that there we go that's running at 180% so <laughs> i don't know what that means but it means there are at least some people using it i guess I suppose while I'm waiting for people to uh, get off the lifts, I can start thinking about what I want to do next. So, there's some very tempting sort of peaks around here, but I don't know if I want to go straight up to a peak and then try and build runs off it, because that sounds like a way of just getting larger numbers of black runs in. And Ooh, was that somebody? No, I think it was just shadings. Oh no, no, it is people. People, hooray! Are they having fun? Yes, you can see their um, excitement level and their mood going up as they ski down here. Excellent. <laughs> oh, it's going well. Good. Hopefully they'll uh, tell... Oh, and there's some people on the blue run as well. They're also beginners, I think, because they're green. Oh, a slalomer. Yeah, plus three. That's um, okay, I suppose. Yeah, these people seem to be... Yeah, they seem to be enjoying themselves as they go down there. That's good. Oh, it's more people coming in. It looks like things are starting to um, actually kick off a bit now. I should probably name name some of my uh, lifts and my runs, actually, shouldn't I? Uh, what should we call this? Um, I'm not very good at naming things, I have to admit, but I'll um, I'll see I'll see I'll see how it goes. <laughs> so what did I call this? I called this run gone. No, I didn't. This one's Village View, isn't it? Oh, it's it. Yeah, Village View. Um, so on that theme, uh, I don't know. Oh, the renaming isn't... Oh, never mind. I can't be bothered with naming them. I'll just leave them as they are. Hmm. 
Right, that skier is going straight back on again, so they obviously had a good time. Um, that seems to be going quite well. Ah, I've got um, another another worker now. It means I can open up another lift. So where's a good place to go from here? Like I say, it's always really tempting to say, yeah, I'll just blast straight up to here. But actually, that's not too bad. There's That's probably going to be a red coming off that way. Maybe I can get a blue down from here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have a lift go straight up here over the... Um, over the rocks because that means it's a sort of a fast way it's it's you want in a ski resort you want the lifts to go up as steeply as possible basically because that way you get the most altitude gained in the least amount of time so the skiers are having them get to have the most fun then getting down from there and i could just bomb a black straight down off here but i i like to do an easy run first from anywhere because that way when you start to put in harder bits, you can just link them onto it. Uh, can I make that go a bit high higher, actually? Maybe if I make that gondola go from here up to about... How far can I go with this? Here, okay. That gives me a bit more a bit more leeway to get find easier ways down, and, and harder ways down, like straight down here, of course. But as I was saying, I like to have a relatively easy way down, so blues and greens um, if I can get the slope to behave because that means anyone can go up there well almost anyone and they're going to be able to find their way down and you can also link then link other other pieces onto those without worrying about it being too difficult for what for the uh, for the people who've come down it because you can't you can't have a green turn into a black but you can have a black turn into a green oh I'm trying to go over the top of a hummock there if I come round round the mountain like this yeah, so if something start if something gets hard part way down, then you have to you have to list it as hard for the whole route. But if you have a hard run if you have an easy run all the way down and then it spits out onto a so you can't have an easy run that spits out onto a hard run. But you can have a hard run spitting out onto an easy run. It just might mean that you just risk the um the more advanced skiers being a little bit bored. And to be honest, in the real world you possibly risk them skiing a bit too fast in the beginner areas, but oh well. Never mind. How steep can I go before Oop, there we go, there's some red. Okay, that's a nice blue there. I have to admit, I'm not really looking very far ahead of where I'm placing the piece, so I may end up running myself into a corner. But so far, it seems to be going pretty well. Okay, yeah, I've, um, I'm not going to be. This isn't going to link to the um, the mid the midpoint of the lift, but that's fine. It comes straight back down to the resort, I think. Where is the resort? It must be down here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice long blue. That's almost two kilometres long. Yeah, I like that. It's got some nice long, it's got some nice sharp zigzags here, and then a big long sweeping fast bit at the bottom. Yeah, I think I'd like to ski that run. But then the other thing is, is this lift open? That's an important thing. There we go. Let's open it up. Now it's got. Now there's a run off it. You can also then have something a bit more challenging, <laughs> a bit more challenging. Okay, enormously more challenging coming off the top there, and then joining onto this blue run. So it's a nice way of having having some variety and some choice in there. Let's try and keep this to red, no work, no harder than red, and I want this to join onto this one down here. There we go. So people can go round this multiple times if they want to. If I do that, is that interesting? Possibly. There we go. A couple of shortcuts for the um, more <laughs> um, the better, the more experienced skiers. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> more crazy, perhaps. What's that going to be? That's going to be black going down there. If I put that going this way first, maybe coming off here instead. I want this to be blue, maybe only tiny bits of red. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think this is starting to come together quite nicely. So the the th thing about um, this sort of game is that the the bottleneck in it is very much going to be the the lifts because they have a they have queues, they have a certain level of capacity, and so on. Um, putting in multiple runs. I think probably makes makes the makes the resort better in that people do then have more a greater variety of routes to take down the mountain and therefore probably enjoy themselves more. I'm not sure how strong a rule that is, but um, but it doesn't really help with alleviating uh, th the um, throughput because as far as I can tell in this game, runs seem to have infinite bandwidth, whereas the lifts don't. So the lifts are the um, the limiting factor. Okay. I think I can put in another lift up here now. How far can I go? There. 
What I would quite like to do is open up the other side of the mountain a bit. I don't know how practical that is though. Let's have this go up into to here. So I think I can get both ways from here. There's a route down this way and down this way. So from here I could no, don't go that way. Yeah, that's better. Oh, this is quite easy. At least it was to start with. Um, round here, perhaps. Yeah, okay, that's come out as a green. I was expecting that to be a blue. But, yeah, that's... um. Oh, it's a green joining onto a blue. That's not good. Um, oh, well. I think... Oh, I've reached a point. No, let's carry on anyway. Um, I think the bottom part of this blue was basically a green, though. So I think people are going to be okay with that. Hopefully they um, they won't get too upset by seeing <laughs> seeing the colour they weren't expecting on the as, as they come down it. Um, but also this is this is the perfect opportunity to have a slightly harder route down as well. So we can just go a bit more directly to there, maybe. That's probably going to come out as red. Yeah, that seems fair. Uh, let's open this lift up now, because it's got some runs coming from it. And I think, as I was saying, I can probably wind it down here into this sort of into this bowl, and then maybe have a lift coming back up here to get people back to the um, back to the resort. So how f how long can I make one of these? Can I go right from the bottom here? No. I can go that far. So I want to go maybe from... So from here, will that get up to... No. Okay. This is downhill, just. Maybe if I go from here... Oh, I'm very nearly there, but not quite. Oh. Actually, you get a bit of... A bit of leeway around a lift, don't you? I don't want to put in a two-parter. I don't have the staff for it. And it takes forever, and skiers will get bored. How about from here? Nope, that's not joined the same area. <laughs> it was very nearly there, though. Where was that? That was in about here, wasn't it? There we go. That'll do. So, what's the obvious straight down the hill route? That's only a red. That's not too bad. Let's take one of them in, then, to start with. Now, can I get in a blue as well? I want to get... I would like to have a... I have a blue coming down out down here. As, as I said, I like to keep the roots as easy as possible. <laughs> it's going to go wrong somewhere around here, isn't it? So let's just go that far. And then back across. Trying quite hard not to join that other run because that's a red and <laughs> yeah. And then down to here. There we go. There? There. Great. This is something you see quite a lot in uh, in real ski resorts, actually. You have a harder run blasting straight down the mountain, and then an easier one zigzagging across it like that. So, um, yeah, this feels nice and realistic. Is this, is this lift open? No. Open. How am I, How's my queuing going back in the main resort? Uh, so still okay. All right, that's all right. Because one thing you one thing you can do to alleviate um, long queues is put more workers into the lifts to make them run a bit faster. This is coming together quite nicely, I think. Can I get a run from here, carrying on over there? Let's find out. I like sort of linking areas up with pistes. It feels like you're giving the um, your skiers a bit of a bit more choice that way of where they can where they can go and take different routes and see different parts of the mountain that sort of thing this seems to be a fairly difficult mountain to get down though, over this way now nah, some black in there let's not do that okay how are we getting on I feel like there's a reasonable spread of um, of runs that's going quite well um, I've I'm using using the area using the space up quite nicely. There should probably be 
some sort of... What's going on here? Oh, I see. That's a bottom. I want to kind of <laughs> I want to bring a run down from here to join onto this, but I'm not sure that's possible because the um just simply because of the shape of the ground. I could bring one down here and then have a lift up to here and then use that one to get back up again. Maybe that's the uh, the next place to go. How am I? Okay, I'm I'm doing quite well for for workers. I've got plenty of plenty of space essentially plenty of um, exp expansion capability this whole area down here is going to be rather easy so but you, but you need to be reasonably good to get there so it's perhaps not the best place to put too much extra stuff but if I have a gondola from here to here no it's a horrible place to put it it's in the way if I have a gondola from let's try that again what's happened to that contour line it's, okay yeah, let's go from over here. I reckon I can get my skiers to about here. To, to joining onto there. There we go. Then I can have a ski run coming down and from here. <laughs> it's going to be quite a nice black run, actually. Uh, well, the top part of it is. Um, I want to stick to blue for this one. There we go. Yeah, that's quite nice. And then we can have something a bit harder coming off here as well. Perhaps going down this side. Like that. Oops. What happened? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, how far down can I go? So it's this contour line that I need to follow. So if I go to about there... Then we're gonna have a <laughs> a long and failing traversal from here. That's gonna be boring and difficult. Okay. Let's put this run in down here, because this does look like quite a good one. In fact, let's actually let's stop that for now. Let's try and put in a gondola. How far not Okay, so I get a little bit more right distance out of it than that. There we go. How about that much? Yeah, there we go. And then we can have a black run going basically straight from the top to the bottom of that lift, like that, for the absolute lunatics. But also, if you want something a little bit more sensible, you can split off from this one here and wend back and forth across the mountain in a much bluer way. You can come in there. Yeah, that's quite nice. And, of course, we need someone to run that lift. I've got loads of workers. That means I must have loads and loads of customers, which means I should... Oh, dear God. These have got... <laughs> while I wasn't looking, these have got rather over busy. Uh, will that be enough to um, get through the queues? I don't know. 99 plus isn't very helpful, because all I know is that there's too many people. Um, yes, that que that queue is definitely getting shorter. What about this one? Yeah, that one's getting shorter as well. Okay, so these that solved the problem of these two for now. But yeah, so you can see that there's um now that the resort has got going a bit more, there's a nice steady flow of people running coming through it. I at some point may need to build another another pair of gondolas coming out of the uh, out of the village. To be honest, um, I probably need to put second person in this one as well um, because they're yeah they're getting absolutely swamped and hammered so. In fact, the, the queues are getting longer again, even though I've made the uh, made them run at a higher capacity. So let's, um, yeah, let's do that. Do I want to just go to the same place? That is easier. Because I'm going to go bang, bang, and it's done. Or do I want a third gondola coming out of the village and going somewhere up, perhaps somewhere up, somewhere up here? Let's do both, actually. I, it's not like I have to worry about money. So let's have one going there. And then another one going from there to there. Now this is one of the slight problems of this game. The um, it doesn't seem to really pick up on the fact that it, <laughs> I've, I've put I've expanded the area at the top of the lift, so these um, tracks overlap overlap a bit. But oh well. 
Okay, that's dropped nicely. That one is going down. Ah, oh, this one needs people. There we go. I'll stick four people in there. Oh, wait, there's nowhere to go at the top of this one yet. <laughs> um, let's chuck people straight out, out onto this blue. That's probably the sensible thing to do. And call that a green, because uh, a blue, because it joins onto the blue. Okay, yeah, that should get... Um, Hopefully people will start using that lift as well now. And yeah, so that queue's going down because people are using the other ones, I guess. They're not that desperate to get up here that they want to queue for it. <laughs> Although that is the only way to get to a significant part of the uh, resort. So actually I should probably put in another lift there anyway. Because I want to get people out over this way. Because that's where I've been doing a lot of my um, construction and stuff. Okay, things are going a bit better now. We are mostly dealing with the queues. None of them say 99 plus anyway, so that's a good thing. And I do have over a thousand people in my resort now. Um, and I've got one more worker to assign. Let's put it on that one. Yeah, these two are both very popular, which, as I, as I was saying, isn't, isn't particularly surprising because there's so much stuff going on over here. Um, I've been expanding the resort out, but every, yeah, that's actually that's quite bad planning. If I if I look at the um, where the lifts go, there's yeah, there's a few runs over this side, but everything there's so many more runs over here, and that is just entirely off this one lift. Well, two lifts now, so. I could, have, I could have planned that a bit better. What I actually need, I guess, is a lift from here up to here. Um, I do have a chap to run that. Can I, can I gondole that far? Yes, I can. Excellent. So let's do that. See if that helps a bit. Maybe get people from here over that, over that way a bit. And I can also put a, uh, a run in that goes from here Maybe not from there. Maybe from here. Okay, it's going to have to be from here, so it's downhill uh, to there. And then hopefully we'll get some people coming down that way and going into that, um, going to the lift here. Or worst case, maybe they'll just carry on down here. So this gets back to the um, the pathfinding of these guys again. Um, I've, I've not noticed it in this game so far, um, but I have in previously. I've noticed that you often get. Let's see if that's. Let's see actually. No, that's an expert. Conveniently, the uh, the skiers tend to be color coded by how good they are. So you can see all these all these guys in red are Santa on vacation, and they're all expert skiers. And so they and well, he's really happy. Um, he generally he's, he likes doing harder slopes. That's fine. This guy I can't don't seem to be able to click on. Clicking on people seems to be a little bit iffy, <laughs> as you can see. Trying to get the green one. Can't. Oh, the blue one. Okay, I suspect he's not going to like this run very much. Yeah, so he's he's gone on one that's too hard for him. So he's not having a good time. He's getting sadder and sadder the further down that he goes. And, you know, I can kind of sympathise. I've been there. Um, but... To be fair, he is on a black run. It's entirely his own fault. From here, he should have clearly... He's an intermediate skier. He should have gone on the blue or possibly even the red. This one here is a beginner. Yeah, a slalomer. Okay, an intermediate. They're on a they're on a blue run. They're having a good time. They're getting happier. So, yeah, it's... There's a bit of dodginess in the... Um, in how... How, how the uh, people select what run they want to go on. And I've often seen experts on green runs grumbling because that is because it's too easy and they're bored so it yeah the uh i don't know i don't know how, how the pathfinding works does it go oh here's a lift i'll go up the lift does it go okay at the top and then they get to the top of the lift and they go oh there's only a black from here i'm screwed or do they or do they actually plan their route out and how and if so how much of a route do they plan is there a chance there's somebody planning that they're going to come up here and then go down this blue and then come up the lift and then go down the blue to get over here to go and and all that other sort of stuff 
I don't know. I don't know how far ahead they're planning. So I'm trying to keep the resort as I would if it was a real one, so that everywhere has relatively easy runs down from it. So blue or or easier. But also, most of the high up places tend to have blacks going down from them as well. So the the hopefully when they get to the top of a lift, they've got a choice and they can pick something that's appropriate for their skill level. Whether that works like that, who knows? Uh, it see I mean, when I looked at those runs over there, they seem to be they seem to have people of about the right sort of skill levels on them. This one, this green slope here, is covered in green skiers, so that's pretty good. This blue one is empty. That's less good. <laughs> Yeah, you can't go up a ski resort, a ski slope, silly fella. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know how good the pathfinding is. So I'm just sort of looking around, seeing what's going on. These slopes don't seem to be getting used, which is a bit of a shame. Um, this lift is getting used. It's a 407% capacity. Whatever, as I say, whatever that means. Uh, let's speed things up a bit. See if, see if there are people actually going off this side. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Right, so it looks like everyone who's coming up here is just taking these these two runs, which is a bit of a shame, because I've built some other ones. Why are they not taking those? Another thing I don't like about the game at the moment is there doesn't seem to be a way to tweak and edit runs, so I might want to say I want, want to edit this one and drag the starting point maybe over here a little bit to see if it makes them notice it any better. I don't know, because at the moment it feels like nobody's coming to this point. Nobody's, yeah, nobody's getting down here. Nobody's using these runs. Is anyone using this? Oh, this, this lift is getting used. But there goes someone down that black, I think. But the okay, and that is getting used. Where's he going to go from here? Yeah, so he's just sticking with the main run. He's not branching off down the um, down the alternative route. What about these? Oh no! Oh, I take it all back. Actually, there do seem there does seem to be some um, variety in where they're going. Is he having fun? Yes. Good. And he's, oh, he's branched off again onto us. Uh, so he's gone. He's, he's taken three different runs on the way down. That's good. Maybe it is. Maybe it is working then. And I'm being a bit too. Um, I'm just being impatient. Or maybe it's just a bit too hard to get over this far. This far over the mountain, and I need to put in another lift going. I've got a lift going up there. Hmm. I don't know. I think perhaps the uh, the game needs bigger lift system or a longer range lift or I, I don't know I, f I feel like it's a bit too I don't know I feel like the there's too many people in this area I mean look how many people are going down this this slope here and they're all yeah they're all piling up in front of these lifts and I just don't have enough I mean I, yeah okay I could put a third one in, <laughs> a third one in doing this route maybe, and maybe I should, or maybe I should put in a third one that goes pushes people a bit more over this way but I don't know if I can make a gondola long enough for that. Another thing that would be quite nice to be able to do... I wonder if I can. Let's try. Can I put in... So there's lots of stuff going on here. Can I put in a lift from here? Okay, I can't go that way. I can't do that because the other lifts are in the way. That's fair enough. What if I put in a lift here to here? No, and all these skiers will just shoot straight past it, as, as far as I can tell. I mean, I don't know. I guess all I can do is stick in some runs and find out. So let's put a uh, let's put a run from here. Keep it nice and green, greeny, bluey colours. Join it on there. Uh, like that. Good. I'm going to call this a blue because it joins onto a blue. I'm going to open this lift and see if anyone takes it. Or are they all just going to go skiing straight past? So, yeah, I, I could delete this green run. 
but then I'd have to rebuild it all, and that is a bit of a faff, and I don't really want to. Oh, maybe I could, I suppose what I could do is I could put a break on there going to here, like that. That might work. I don't. I think. I think people pathfind fairly early on in their run, so I'm going to wait a bit for at least for these people to get down there before I say no. This hasn't worked. <laughs> ah, it has worked. There we go. Starting to get a few people joining the queue for this lift. And I can put in a feeder from this one as well. Hopefully steal some people off this, this piece. So what I'm trying to do here, essentially, is drag people away from the, the main village area. And get them... Basically, push them over onto this side of the mountain where there's a bit more capacity, there's a bit more space. I suppose the concern is there's a, yeah, they've got a time left thing as well, but this person's due to go home. But, eh, never mind. Having an enforced longer skiing holiday can't be a bad thing, can it? <laughs> How are we doing down here? Not too bad. Yep, no queue there. It's convenient they've got green, yeah, and they've got flags on them that go green, yellow, and eventually red like that one. So that needs more people running it. Uh, <laughs> okay, I don't know if I have enough people. Well, I don't have enough people. Uh, let's. These have got no queue left. Let's steal a person from each of them. And put them, where was it? Somewhere. Nope, wasn't that one. Ah, that one. That one. You need three people. So why is that getting so many people? Oh, it's it's it's, guy, it's skiers coming off down off the top of here, thinking I don't want to go down all the way down to the resort, because then I'll have to join those massive queues. So they're making a massive queue up here instead. But that's okay. We've, um, yeah, that's dealt with now. That's all right. The other thing that's quite nice about this is I've got that sort of real world ski resort thing where you have little nexus points around the mountain where lots of lifts come together, like here for example, which makes perfect sense because you've got them coming up and then you want people to get off those lifts and carry on upwards. And then once you've got that sort of infrastructure set up it makes sense to bring people up there from somewhere else and have them go somewhere else and have them carry on up the mountain from there. So, and, and again, yeah, no, no, not so much here, This is well there's two, two lifts meeting at the point here, so yeah, that sort of thing is coming together quite nicely yeah I think so to give my sort of feelings about this game it is it is definitely unfinished there are there are things that are a bit sort of annoying and don't work quite as I'd like them to so the the um, the, the the piste placing it works quite well. I, I like the um, I like the system of showing you the colours as, as you're placing it, so you can tell how it's how the how the piece is going to end up before you before you actually place it, and you can think about it as you go through and make sure you're not making something that's ridiculously difficult. In fact, the roller coaster tycoon type games could do with something like that to have you um, to tell you how your roller coaster is coming along while you're still building it. Um, but I guess that's prob possibly a bit too complicated. I don't, although I don't know, actually, it could it could work it out from the sort of the what you've built so far. It, it'd be a little bit more involved than the ski resort, where it's a ski piece where it's only working out what it's like on that specific area. But it could work. Um, obviously there's no economy in the game yet, so I've just been slapping down um, lifts and runs all over the place, and it's not cost me anything. Uh, which is, to be honest, playing in a sandbox mode is quite good fun. It, it means you're not worrying about um, having to scrape together all um, scrape the pennies together from selling overpriced skis and um, 
to trying to decide how much to charge people to get in and making them grumpy about things like that and so on. And you, and there's no things like having handymen uh, worrying about litter and and so on. So it's quite nice just having the sort of the basic sandbox thing going on where you can just throw stuff around and 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 build things. And yet on the flip side, it's got the um, the staff mechanic here. Which, are, which gives you at least something that limits you and stops you just slapping stuff down all over the place and seeing what happens. So, yeah, it's working quite well. I think it needs more feedback, to be honest. So, these lifts, I can, I can tell... I, I can tell... Okay, okay, I suppose at this point in the game, I can tell how busy they are by looking at the queues. Um, this one's got a queue of 22 people, 23 people outside it, so that's quite a busy one as they go, as they go. but it's not sort of up to crisis level yet. This one's at zero, so that one's obviously fine. Um... But it'd be nice if you could click on them and it would tell you how many people were going through, how many people were, um, how many people were actually on it, that sort of thing. Um, this, this occupancy number is basically meaningless to, uh, as far as I'm concerned because it's it's over a thousand, it's, it's over a hundred percent. This one's at twelve hundred percent. What does that what does that even mean? I, I have no idea. Um, and also something for the for the pieces as well, some sort of feedback on those. So yeah, it's nice knowing how long it is, how steep it is, how difficult it is. But it would be nice to know how many people were using it. Um, and you want that probably as a um, a per hour thing as well, so you can tell how many people are actually on the piece. Then you want how many people are, how how busy the piece is. Because if you've got a one that's two two kilometres long like that one, you can't compare it directly to one that's one kilometre long like this by number of people on it. But you can compare by number of people going through it. I guess so. It gives it will give you an idea of sort of how full it was, um, and then that's something else. You, the 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 pieces appear to have basically infinite bandwidth. The um, the skiers are going much closer to each other than <laughs> than they would in real life. There um, there doesn't seem to be any limit to how many people you can cram down a piece. So it'd be nice if people go, oh, this one's a bit too busy. I don't want to go down that at the moment, or and that sort of thing. Um, and also just for getting an idea of whether you've built your everything out properly, like this this one here. Okay, there's a, there's a, guy, there's a couple of guys on it. I can, I can see them, but especially earlier in the game when your resort's a bit emptier, it'd be nice to be able to see how many people had used the piece in the last hour, that sort of thing. Um, and if I'm if I'm chasing pie in the sky, one of the things that the the original um, ski resort tycoon that I think came out in about the year 2000, as far uh, from what I've been reading, that actually had a thing where you could select a skier and watch the, watch through their eyes as they were going down the mountain. Uh, that would be fantastic, of course. But um, I, I'm sure they've thought of that, and, then, and may, may, maybe it'll make it into a later a later build of the game. I don't know. Um, otherwise, I mean. It's yeah, it's been it's been fun to play it. Um, there's obviously because there's no disadvantage to using the um, the gondolas. I've just gone gondolas everywhere. Um, that will be fixed if when if and when they put an economy into the game where you need to I don't know open another restaurant to to make up some money before you can open before you can afford a gondola and you end up having to use a a, a button lift and everybody hates it. Um, or maybe maybe the. Maybe the workforce numbers should be enforced, so you need need to have four people to run a gondola. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm sure, but I'm, I'm sure there are ways that, that it could be done. Um, but generally, yeah, I've I've had fun playing this. Um, I would, especially since it's it's currently the alpha is currently free. I'd I'd say yeah, go go check it out, especially if you have any sort of interest in skiing, because that does make it a bit more uh, a bit more interesting, because you you have a bit more of a a feel for what what you're what you're trying to do and. And what's fun and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I've had I've had fun playing it. I recommend it, but I don't think I'll I don't think I'll play an enormous amount more of it, and I probably won't street and do another video from it. But I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I hope you'll join me next time to see what I do next. Thanks for watching.